guys welcome to the last and final day on rcdc learning today we are going to be learning how to design the footing so you create new projects once you create new projects it will open for footing design okay so let's give it a little while for it to load for the footing design So we are assuming our soil bearing capacity of 200 kilonewton per meter square. That's what we are assuming. We are assuming it on a good soil. And we are good to go. Okay. So let's create. So it's creating a new project. Okay. So let's wait for it to go. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, seventeen columns. And we can see them here. Then the column mark, you can see them, footing mark, you can see them. And change it if you want. So I'll leave it back on FC1. Then footing type. So pad, whatever you want on wrap. So let me leave it on pad. You can offset the column. You can get the rough thickness you want. So I'm going to work on part today. So in subsequent video, when I'm chanced, I'm going to start with raft and um, pile. Okay. So let's work on part today. So the next thing is settings, general settings. Okay. So use SBC gross. Yes. Now what sort of charge load is? Let me open my paint so I can explain what sort of charge load is. So paint is opening. Okay. So let me open paint. So what for example now we have a pad base buried into the ground. Now so so chart load is the height of the soil above the footing. So you can decide to ignore it if you want, it's actually very negligible. So we'll open back our CDC. Okay, so use gross bearing pass. So select whatever you want, check for sliding, check for buoyancy, check for overturning. Provide top steel for footing depth only greater than 600 minutes. That's what I want. So I don't want it to provide fixed reinforcement. So my net soil bearing capacity is 200 kilonewton per square meter. That's what I want. So that soil density is 18, footing depth. I want it to be 1.2 1.2 meter water table i want my water table to be a little bit below it so 1.5 and friction coefficient yes factor of safety for sliding yes factor of safety for uplift yes yes i want um 500 i want to use c25 c30 for my footing clear cover for my footing i want to use 15 millimeter so I'm not using live load reduction type of soil. I want it to be rock, rocky hard. Yes. So in this case, since I didn't apply it quick, I'm leaving it. So minimum thickness, I want it to be 230. Sorry. 230. So PCC offset. Let me leave it like that. So dimension setting round off at every 25 millimeter. Depth round off also. Minimum depth. Sorry, this is um, PCC is uh, plain cement concrete. That's for the blinding. So let me use 50. So let me use 50 also. Then minimum depth, I want to use 230. Then I can set my plan limit that, okay, I do not want my plan to exceed to, um, one meter dimension or two meter dimension and the width should go. So you can go. So I'll go with average pressure or i can factor my soil bearing capacity so let me leave it as okay so once i'm done with that i go back settings reinforcement settings so i want to use 10 mm or 12 mm so minimum bottom minimum top sorry minimum top 10 maximum main steel i want to use 12 maximum share reinforcement 10 then side face, I will leave it as 12, 12, okay. 
yes okay so click ok now go back to settings so you can check your detail drawing settings yes you can set this the way you want and click ok i'm okay with this and i'll go back to settings basic load cases this is dead live and roof live okay i'll bring them into this click ok so add from analysis yes i'm going to add from analysis yes remove duplicate okay so i click ok so please add sizing load combination okay so add from analysis yes and click okay so i can decide to just create one and change it to one also and one also and deselect orders yes so i can deselect orders if i wish so click okay so once i'm done with that i can run my design so my auto design so let's wait for it to give us our footing size and the reinforcement okay and let's wait for it it's designing the footing it's almost done so almost done with the footing okay Yes, you can see it. So footing one, we have 850 by 850 by 230, 850 by 850 by 230. So the highest I think we have is 1.1 by 1.1 by 230. So we are good to go, and we are good to go. Our reinforcement 10 mm at um, 300 center to center. This is 10 mm at okay. That's the large size. This large footing. So you can now get your reports. So you can get your detailed drawing. So let me get for what? Footing one. So detailed drawing. I can get in plan section L, section B. Okay. And click OK for it. Okay. So you can see your footing plan. Okay. So export it to Auto uh, DXF and you can edit it on AutoCAD. Okay. So this is the 50 mm thick PCC, and you have also that's this other part at this point here. Okay. So the next thing you have is reports. You can get your design calculation. So I just want for only footing one. Okay. So it gives you your calculation sheet, which you print out. I can set to bring everything, but for now, I just want to leave this one. So, yes. So you can see the load that was applied on it. You can check it. So one dead live load roof live. So you can see it. So bend design for bending. This is the factor they use. This is the load case you used. Okay. Okay. So, see if in overturning, yes. So, next you can do is bring the rebar manager. So, I just want for only footing one and close. Let me show you what shape code is about. So, you can see it. So instead of it drawing the beam, you're just going to put the shape code from the Euro code shape code um, book. So let's see it. So you can see it code 38. This is the shape. So you can see it bar shape 38 and 38 cut length. You can see this. So thank you for watching to this video on footing design. In future video, I'm going to be talking about raft and pile. Thank you very much.